Hello guys, it's Paula here and today we're going to react to Bleach episode 9. The last episode we finally got a little bit like to relax, you know, after all the fighting. Like I already said, and I'm glad that we have right now like this bright atmosphere because my eyes cannot take it anymore. <laughs> Ichigo got to where the Soul King lives. And in the end, they even showed him to us. Squad Zero is kind of funny, and the fact that they are like teachers, you know, mentors of some of um, Gote 13 captains. That was like nice to see. The way there is someone who can zip Myri's mouth, that lady, that was very satisfying for me to see. <laughs> and just, I love seeing Ichigo being appreciated, you know. Because for a long time, he was treated like shit by Soul Society, by Byakuya, <laughs> by everyone else. And right now, it's like everyone's like, yeah, Ichigo is our only hope. Exactly. We've been new. <laughs> oh, guys, let's watch the episode. I'm so sad. Oh, so they making him instead of the instead of the Yamamoto, bro. How did I forget about <sighs> the way I literally forgot about that? What? Oh my god, that was kind of obvious. I don't know because when they saw when they showed us Kyoraku with Yamamoto, he's been there. For a very very long time and he's been very close with uh, Yamamoto so I think he's like the only one who can fit this role in my opinion. <laughs> he should go enjoying it I see. Way. It was good. He's 17. Don't forget. It's my for myself, the reminder, because I don't, I always forget that you should go 17. Oh! He looks like a mummy. From that one art of Kubo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait. Ooh, they're so strong though. Oh my god, this is what Ichigo did to him. Oh my god. Let's go! Yeah. Y'all just shut up. I hate all of you. The higher ups suck. You go, boy. Yes! The mother! Yes! Finally, they spilled the tea. Back to the clowns. Oh, I'm really, I want to see anime only reactions to Unahana. Oh no, what are you doing here? Hello? <gasps> what? Howdy? I miss them. <laughs> I should go to NJ, let's do <clears throat> Wow. They look so good, guys. Oh. They are. These silly, goofy guys. For sure. <laughs> what is this? Ichigo has a lot of worries. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, we we're just eating here, but everyone's. Yeah. Bitch, you deserve it. You, Ichigo, deserve the break. Yes. Big brain. <laughs> Damn. Oh, she's. Oh! Girl, just don't give them the heart attack. Renji, you have Rukia. Ichigo, you have Orihime. I see you. I see you. Who are you? We're gonna have a battle of the year. This is real. Oh, she left a note. Yo, they all left because they know that someone's gonna die, one of them. Yo, this is just. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe how fast this is all going. Yeah. Oh, you are calling. That's. Yeah. Yo, this is so. This is his. Here in this room, him. The confession, though. Oh my! The tears, bro. Oh. My bitch ain't dying. Was this just uh, so? It was real. I don't know. Wow. Oh, this was so good. I'm like, this is not like the manga, guys. This is just, this is just so different. I mean, all the same, the action, but the feel the feeling is so different starting with kenpachi and unahana i wonder how many of you were shocked by their actual relationship like the fact that the zaraki kenpachi admired her and i think he still admires her and like unahana said that there was a there was a phrase I think that he doesn't enjoy it because for for Kimpachi to beat his opponent to be in his you know in his full force he needs to truly enjoy it. Do you think he's enjoying fighting Unahana right now? I don't think so. Because he said she's the one he admires the most. He haven't felt anything when he was like cutting trees, other people or stuff. But when he fought her, he felt fear. And you know this kind of adoration he has for her? This is such a 
great information i think for all of us and for those like i forgot a lot of but the feels this gives me my god yeah a change of everything again <laughs> i swear i cannot like film in peace i cannot okay i'm like a little bit calm down from watching that final scene and i finally can talk about it like properly because i was so like mm, i don't know it just always blows my mind that there is someone who can literally turn Kempachi into a different fucking person. <laughs> That's what I love about Bleach, that, you know, you've been watching like 366 episodes, right, guys? Thinking, wow, Kempachi, the mm, top dude, like, respect, bro. Until, until we know this. Okay, he's still a top dude. But we know that he has all those feelings of appreciation, of admiration, of like feeling something that that's not rage and just wanting to kill your opponent. And this moment told you a lot about their relationship. It's not, you know, something romantic, not even like close friends, but he just cannot fight in full force. She said, like, you've become weak, probably, but the thing that he's not. If there was someone else, not Unahana, he would be feral. But he cannot. How could you even attack, like, to kill a person you admire so much? I don't know. So I even think that he's kind of, like... I wouldn't say that he's ready to die, but, you know, from the hands of Unahana, I think he would mind. But... On the other hand, we have Unahana who said, like, no, like, you cannot die in her mind. Like, like you have to be the one to live. If Unahana dies, he's going to be, like, the main game punch, probably, I don't know. Yeah, that was that scene was just absolutely perfect. Like, everything about it. Those iconic Unahana um, panels when she, she let her hair down and was, like, watching, like, from the side eye. Like, this creepy, scary, spooky. Wow the mother guys the mother um yeah what else happened in that episode i forgot we had a little like ranji ichigo reunion absolutely love those idiots when they're together they're like literally one brain cells shared for two for two people <laughs> that eating scene they finally have been fed because uh, the dudes to be honest deserve it even ichigo started to go into depressive mode you know like oh no we're eating here i'm eating here but i'm the hero i should protect no this is your freaking problem ichigo you don't know when to rest you don't know when to just say stop do something for yourself i know everyone um wants you to help but you're your own person you still need to rest that's just that's all Ranji looking good mommy Ann. i don't care how much y'all roast him calling him owls and shit he's hot some of your faves cannot so let's start with that next episode is going to be absolutely insane if we are continuing with the uh, unahana and zaraki i just i'm so ready for it because I thought it's going to be like a little bit later, but I guess not. I just, it feels like Bleach moves so fast because I don't remember how they, you know, when you read the, when you read the manga, there are a lot of pages. So you like reading, reading, and you think, mm, that's a lot of work. That's like, that's really long, but actually it's not. When you watch it in the anime, it's like, it's so fast. It's, it's only episode nine. I thought it's going to be like episode 15, maybe, I don't know. But it's actually fast. That was a nice episode. The first half was like super chill with Ranji and Ichigo, just relaxing, um, resting, eating. We we'll love it for them. And the second part was spooky, dark, the reveal of Unahana, and the way she really is the fucking criminal, guys. The criminal. <laughs> Would you even consider that? Remember, like, the first season of Bleach, like, this Unahana cutie captain with the with the braids this is her gaslight gatekeep curl boss sarah i think hey guys thank you so much for watching my reaction and i will see you next week